Hi there, it's Mark here. Um, do you remember these uh, primary school timetables? Do you know why they were so great? Because back in the day, it was those that gave us structure and also gave us balance. They mixed up work and play. And I think over the next few months, it's really important for people not used to working in the home environment that we develop our own version of these here. I've been working at home for the last 20 years and my equivalent of this has kept me sane during that period of time. So what I'd like to do now is to share with you the way in which I do it. Okay, so I plan at three different levels. It sounds a little bit sad, but just stick with it. So I've kind of in my head said that we've got about six months in self-isolation and therefore the most important thing, first of all, is to say, right, let's think about a long-term plan. And I do that in three different ways. So first of all, I try to think about all the things that I would like to do at a personal level. Now, this is not being selfish. This is simply me trying to nourish myself and keep myself energized so that I can help other people. So eating well, sort of reading a range of books, making sure my fitness stays high, and also just trying to sort of reach out to people that may be in greater need. So having done that, I'm also trying to make sure that I can try to plan for things that are going to happen around the home. So again, things that are important like family time, the boring stuff, and also sorting out the garden, but also contacting friends both from the present and from the past. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm developing a holistic sense of, of the next six months. And last but not least, obviously, I've got to sort out the work priorities. So here I'm looking at what I'm going to be doing with my existing clients, how I'm going to try to find new clients, I'm trying here to try to think about how I can become less of a digital dinosaur, but also thinking about planning for the long term. So what we kind of got here is a, a holistic view of the next six months uh, so that by the time the self isolation finishes, I can say I've achieved that. OK, so the first level of planning is at a sort of strategic level, OK, holistically for six months. But I then make sure I move quickly into how am I going to execute that at a weekly level? So as you can see here, it's the same categories, the same subcategories, but we're simply getting a bit more concrete and a bit more tangible here. And then every day, yes, you probably guessed it by now, I then move into how we can translate that into daily tasks. And here we get super concrete and super tangible. Names, people, activities, timings. So what I'm trying to do overall across the three levels is make sure that they are structured, that they are holistic, and that it kind of all makes sense as a whole. And this helps to keep me sane and has done so for many, many years. OK, so in summary, the next few weeks and months are going to be challenging for all of us, particularly for people maybe not used to working from home. Discipline and structure will be required. Um, now, if we go back to our school days, we'll all have very fond memories of what used to happen when structure and discipline broke down. Carnage and chaos. And I think that's my favourite up there with the flower pot on his head. So um, over the next uh, few months, whether we are going to be using Excel spreadsheets or uh, post-it notes or notepads, whatever suits your, your, your style of working, I think it's quite important that we do try to develop some holistic timetables that give us real balance uh, so that we can remain on the straight and narrow. Uh, we don't want any carnage and chaos up top. Um, so, OK, that's it, everyone. Um, please keep uh, safe, keep sane and do keep smiling. Thank you.